I am Sandy Waldron, and I am currently serving as the secretary for the Georgia District Ladies Committee. Today I'm representing Section 6, in which Sister Maurice Nix is our wonderful sectional leader. Today I'm going to talk to you about scriptural supplements. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will use me today to be an encourager to someone and to share your precious word with everyone who is listening today. Bless them all. In Jesus' name, amen. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Psalms 119.11 says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. A supplement is taken to remedy the deficiencies in a person's diet. A seasoned saint is one who has been in the church for a long time. There are certain scriptures which are the meat and potatoes or foundation of their doctrine. Scriptures like Acts 2.38, Deuteronomy 6.4, and Ephesians 4.5, just to name a few. In other words, these scriptures represent their daily vitamins. Sometimes in our Christian walk, we might need to add a little more to our daily diet, or what I call scripture supplements. The Bible is full of scripture supplements. When you go to a drugstore, there are shelves full of every kind of vitamin you could think of. You can improve your memory, build your muscles, clean your liver, or strengthen your immune system, just to name a few. The Bible has everything you need for every problem in every situation in life that you will face. Let me share just a few of these scripture supplements. If you need a healing in your body, Isaiah 53, 5 is a good supplement. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Are you feeling all alone? Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Maybe you've recently lost a loved one. Revelations 24 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Are you needing a financial blessing? Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Need to boost your faith? John 14.14 14 says, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. This is a very powerful scripture supplement. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Concerned about current events, Isaiah 59.19 says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Psalms 3, 6 says, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Psalms 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Maybe you are struggling with sin, 1 John 1, 7 says, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. Read God's word every day. Memorize it. Pray it. You will find that scriptures will start coming to your memory when you need them the most. There are scriptures that I memorized as a child, and when I was on the Bible quiz team at our church over 40 years ago, and I still remember those scriptures to this day. Just like multivitamins contain several supplements in them, so do scriptures. 
A lot of people are quoting 2 Chronicles 7.14 right now. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. There is a lot going on in that scripture. God is talking to the church, not the world. God is asking us to do four things. Number one, humble ourselves. James 4.10 says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Number two, pray. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, Pray without ceasing. Number three, seek his face. Jeremiah 29.13 says, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Number four, turn from our wicked ways. Acts 20.16 says, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. If the church will do these four things, then God will do three things in return. Number one, he will hear from heaven. Psalms 21 says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Number two, he will forgive our sins. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Number three, and finally, he will heal our land. Jeremiah 3 22 says, Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee for thou art the Lord our God. These are just a very few scripture supplements that are in the word of God. It is like a treasure hunt once you start digging in the scriptures. I pray that the Lord blesses you each and every day and that we will all be spiritually healthier with these scripture supplements.